everyone, this is Beth Elderkin with io9. We are at Purge City at San Diego Comic Con. We're chatting with Jason Blum and James DeMonaco for the Purge TV show and Blum House Productions. What is America? America is, we've been told, the land of the free. So tell me that, what is more American than the Purge? So I want to start, of course, by talking about the Purge TV show. This is the new thing you have coming out in September. So James, I know you've talked previously about how having these 10 hours will let you explore things like flashbacks, but I wanted to get an opinion from you from what else will those 10 hours allow you to explore that might be a little bit more difficult in two hours? Yeah, we get to, I think we really dive into character, why someone would go out on Purge night, you know, why someone would ever pick up a gun or a knife to solve a problem. So we have, now we have all this real estate to really explore why someone would do something so hated. I think one of the things that, that, that James, well, we would always talk about it, James would always talk about when he was writing the movies, was the fact that it's hard to do a lot of character stuff in a 90 minute movie. It's really gotta be a bunch of action and, and plot. And so the idea that you could really delve into character to have all this time just to see how the purge affects people's actions all the way through the evening, not just when something violent is happening, is kind of really interesting. Yeah. Are there other stories or character developments you're looking to explore beyond the Purge TV show into the future, and can we expect those anytime soon? So I think the one thing that we want to try to get into is what the society is like when it's not the Purge. Meaning, what is Purge? The you know, where uh, uh, an America where the Purge exists, how do people treat each other on the 360, the other days of the year? Is it a polite society? Do people worry about what happens on Purge night? So we get to open that up because you know, in the movies, we really only spent 10 minutes before the Purge, 15 minutes. Now we get to do flashbacks. Maybe in, if we get a second season, we can spend more time off the Purge, which would be cool. What is it about horror as a genre that drives you and motivates you to tell these nuanced, critical issues and talk about them in a really interesting way? I think it's because it's metaphor. People don't want to be preached to, I think. Sometimes they go to a movie, they don't want to say, oh, this is you know, this is your society and we're telling you about your society. Horror, sci-fi, I think, give us a good metaphorical mirror that we can put up to our society without hitting people in the head, preaching to them. You know, and, and one of the things that we're excited about in terms of the television show is really pushing into what a banana's idea of the purge really is. And, and we've made it very clear with this story here today that that's, uh, that's the intention yeah. of, the show, of the show. Are there other social or political issues that you haven't explored yet? Class. Always class. Yeah. Always class. Class and race. Yeah. But uh, we do get into the Me Too movement in a big way with one of our stories. I think the purge is very fertile to talk about a lot of different issues. Yeah. Uh, can be, can be woven into the notion of a purge. Yeah. Because it's a night of reckoning. It's where people come to terms with these issues, so it's a night where we can focus on that, put a mirror on these issues, and really spotlight and see how people react in a heightened way. Purge night, anything goes!